Hello and welcome to a presentation of the System Weaver Jira plugin. The plugin is made in C Sharp and its source code is available on GitHub. The plugin is not a complete solution but an example of how an integration between Jira and System Weaver can be made and customers of System Weaver are free to develop further. The plugin uses the System Weaver C Sharp API and Jira's REST API. We start with logging into System Weaver, and now we're going to take a look at the configuration of the Jira plugin. The configuration is only needed to be done once, and it will work for all users. And we we'll use the configuration manager for this. Here we have the plugin configuration. First we have a base URL, that's a URL to the Jira installation that we would like to integrate with. Next is the main project, and main project is the project we would like to integrate System Weaver with. Next we have a custom field, and custom field is a field we need to add to Jira, where the System Weaver XID will be placed in each Jira issue. Finally, we have requirement, and that's a SID to the item type in System Weaver that the plugin will be activated on. Here we we'll take a look at how the Jira plugin works. Since we're looking at the requirement, the plugin will be activated and shown in the menu. We click on Jira and the plugin will start running. We first need to log in into Jira by clicking on Login and enter our Jira credentials. When that is done, the plugin will make a search into Jira and display all issues on this requirement. We can create a new issue on this requirement by clicking on Create Issue. We see now that a new issue 128 has been created. We can double click on that row in System Weaver and then we will be taken to the issue in Jira. Here we see that the data from the description of the requirement has been copied to Jira. That is actually not a good idea since we will have the same data in two places, but we did this so we can show how data from System Weaver can be copied to Jira. Here we see that the System Weaver XID has been copied to the new Jira issue. This makes it possible to connect the requirement with the issue. Now when we have created an issue, we are going to make a little change to the issue. We see that it was a bug we created, so let's see if we can change this. So we change the bug to a story. Now we click on the XID and we will take it automatically back to System Weaver. And we see now that the bug is actually a story now. To show that this actually works, we move to a different requirement. We go back to Jira and we click a second time. And we will now see that we will come to the correct requirement. I move back to Jira again and we will show how we can delete this issue in Jira. The issue is gone. We go back to System Weaver and press F5 and we see that the row with 1 to 8 has disappeared. So this is the whole presentation of the Jira plugin. Thank you for watching.